What's up, YouTube? Simply Oh, Luck here, and today I have an incredible opening, one we've never done before. But first, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Alright, you guys, so we've done the classics with Magician's Force. We've done GX with the Duelist Pack Brawl, and even the newer sets with the Link Summoning Code of the Duelist. And now we're bringing it back to 5Ds. Um, changing up a little bit, but not only that, we're doing an opening that I've never done on this channel before, you guys. It is a Stardust Overdrive first edition box opening. It's 24 packs. Um, so those of you that don't know, the booster boxes for Duelist Genesis, Crossroads of Chaos, uh, Ancient Prophecy, and Stardust Overdrive actually do not come first edition. I believe I got those right. And uh, that's because Konami was promoting the new tins by putting the first edition packs in them. So if you guys have noticed, like even throughout my older videos, I'm opening some of those 5D's tins with those first edition packs and I'm always like, oh man, a first edition booster pack inside. And that's because Konami is actually promoting those tins by only putting the first edition booster packs inside of those tins. So uh, yeah, it's actually pretty incredible to um, gather up 24 of these first edition booster packs. And to be fully honest, I've actually really never opened um, a massive amount of these first edition packs before. I mean, like more than two or whatever, how many is in the first edition 10. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be incredible. Like, I don't even have the commons in the Simply Unlucky collection. That's how, how, how many of these cards I don't have. So, uh, I'm really excited to do this for you guys. And secret or cool cards inside, you have um, the Guardian Yatos first edition. That's actually an extremely rare and hard to find card um, because of these packs, once again, are not easy to find. Value-wise, I'm not sure, but these packs, you know, are chilling like in that 5 to $10 range just because they're not easy to get. You have to buy the tins in order to get them. Uh, Guardian, yeah, Guardian Yatos, Archlord Christia is in here. You have all the Earthbound cards, like the, I don't, I don't know all their names, but, you know, they come Ultimate and Ultra. And then you have uh, Fortune Lady cards in here. So just a lot of cool cards in here. Oh, Gateway of the Six is in your first edition. Ooh, I would like to get one of those. Um, but, yes, so let's get started. Thanks to our friends at Ultra, we have the Walking Dead playmat, and we're bringing out the uh, Pro Eclipse sleeves again as well. Or is that just whites? That's Pro Mount whites. But yeah, still very nice. And so let's get started with this booster box opening. Um, I was thinking I'd split it into parts because the packs are very valuable, but at the same time, I don't want to spend too much time on these because they're not as like nostalgic as like a classic booster box where I could just smell the packs for an hour. But anyways, let's get started. Stardust Overdrive, first edition booster pack. And you may see more foils from here because these are from tins. And basically, they, they kind of give you a foil, I feel like, every three packs um, for these kind of tins. So just if you guys are wondering if we get... So a booster box would be about eight foils for this set, I believe. About four to six supers, two ultras, and an ultimate, maybe a secret. So about six to eight foils, I feel like. So I'm shooting for eight foils because I feel like foils out here is like one for three, like I said, and we have 24 packs. Um, but if we get more than that, that'd be pretty insane. And of course, if we get like half foils, that'd be godly. So let's check it out. All right, Synchro Barrier. So I actually just, I've never seen a lot of these cards first edition, just because I just, I never had them. Uh, Gemini Booster. Insect Neglect, and starting it off with an ultra-rare Divine Grace, North Wemco. Nice name. Um, but yes, yeah, very cool card here. When this card's Ritual Summon, select a number of face-up cards on the field, except this card, up to the number of monsters used for the Ritual Summon. While the selected cards are face-up on the field, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Cool. Nice. Oh, Shine Palace for Pegasus. Yugi Boy. And Infertity Necromancer, first edition. Enlightenment, Reptilian Spawn, and Kokimaru um, Sea Panther. I'm just going to say Kokimaru. But yes, very nice. So started off with a foil card already. That's actually pretty crazy cool. Actually, we'll set them on the bottom. All right, you guys. Next pack. Here we go. Let's do this side first. So hopefully we can get one secret rare at least. That would be nice, but uh, we'll see. And one or two ultimates. Secret Barrier again. Gemini Booster. Insect Neglect. Bending Destiny. Um, Inherited Fortune. Nice. A rare um, Fortune Lady card. During the damage or during the face up, Fortune Lady monster on your side of the field is destroyed. Special summon two Fortune Lady monsters from your hand. During the next standby. Yikes. Okay. This is the rares over here. Lightman again. Relinquish Spider. Reptilian Scylla. 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 Spiritual Forest. This card, I think, was a Duel Links card for a bit. Or still is. Each turn, the face-up 
Beast type, beast warrior type, or plant monster you control will be destroyed by battle is not destroyed. Alright, next pack, here we go. I'm actually curious if these cards have a smell to me. Give it a whiff. Eh, it's not the classic smell, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, Ground Spider, Roar of the Earthbound. A Synchro Barrier again. And nice Max Warrior, first edition, super rare. Keeping up the foils, keep them coming. Please, hopefully we get a Secret Rare, that would be awesome. Very cool. And Earthbound Revival, nice rare card. Discard, uh, select one Earthbound monster in your field spell in your graveyard and add them to your hand. Woodland Archer, isn't it a Gemini card? Yeah. Dark Spider, Iron Core Armor, and Infernity Necromancer again. Nice to see that first edition. Okay. Here we go. So we got one Super and one Ultra so far. Stardust Overdrive First Edition Booster Packs. Like I said, many people have not opened these before. And this is probably the first opening maybe on YouTube of opening 24 or Booster Box worth of these First Edition Packs. Solitaire Magician. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Reptilian Viper. Infernity Force. Inherited Fortune again. I guess they're technically loose packs, so... We might get a lot of duplicates. And Spiritual Force, Necromancer, Enlightenment, Reptilian Spawn. Jeez, how many cards are in this set? Is it like, let's see the traps. 67, so probably around 80. Roar of the Earthbound again. Synchro Barrier. Quick Draw Synchron. Herculean, Herculean, Herculean Power. A Lord British Space Fighter. Nice. Spiritual Force, Necromancer, Enlightenment, Rotility Spawn. All right. Come on, foil cards, you guys. Here we go. Tuned Magician. Actually, a decent 1800 attack sp spellcaster Gemini. This card's treated as a tuner monster when it's summoning him. Tuned Magician. For 80 Force, Quick Draw. Majestic Dragon, nice. Um, this card cannot be used as a single material except for Synchro uh, Majestic Monster. One star, so you can bring it out with one one for one. But yeah, one star Dragon Tuner. I believe there's some other cards that work with it as well. Camera's having issues focusing because it keeps wanting to focus on <laughs> Daryl and the Playmat. Alright, uh, Rinyan Lightsworn Rogue. Little cute, cute little kitty. Spider Web, Relinquished Spider, Level Eater, nice, this is Level Eater set, and Spider Egg. Okay, let me go, go like that. <laughs> Alright, sleeve it up, so two Supers so far, and an Ultra. Frickin' Daryl. Okay. Limit Impulse. Reptilian Gorgon, nice. Iron Core Armor. And another super rare, Reptilian Hydra, nice. Uh, when this card Synchro Summon, destroy all face of monsters with zero attack your opponent controls and draw one card for each. Pretty crazy in the Reptilian deck. Too bad she's not a little stronger. Interesting. Time, Passage, uh, Regulus, Quick Draw Synchron, and Roar of the Earthbound. Okay, let's keep it up with the Cool, super rare cards there. Did we, we took out the rare, right? Okay. Reptilian Hydra. So three supers and an ultra so far. Insect Neglect. What does this actually do? When your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can remove from play one insect type monster in your game to get the attack. Interesting. Time Passage. Reptilian Viper. A Mother Spider. If you have and in only insect type monsters in your grave, you can send two face up defense position monsters your opponent controls to the grave and special summon this card from your hand. Wow. Well, that's kind of that's like extremely good, yeah? If you only have insect type, so you can only play insects so in your grave, you can send two face up defense position monsters your opponent controls to the grave. So you'd have to play some sort of um, defense or attack position switching monsters. Trap card. So like I'm I'm trying to think of cards that do that and I'm just not. Windstorm Itaqua. There we go. However that card's pronounced. Attack of Pheromones, Woodland Archer. Gemini Spark. Nice. Finally getting a cool Gemini card. 
was very good for a long time, used in the different hero decks. Come on. Pointer of the Red Lotus. Ritual Buster. It's a cool picture. Relinquished Spider. And nice! Oh, baby, an ultimate rare Earthbound Immortal. Charahua. 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 I'm never good at pronouncing those names, but Kahua. Let's just do that. So this one is, there can only be one face up on the field at a time. If there's no face of field spell on the field, destroy this card. The opponent cannot select this card as an attack target. This card can attack your opponent directly when this card is destroyed by a card effect. Accept its own, destroy all cards on the field. This is definitely one of the cooler ones. That looks awesome. Seriously. Ultimate Rare. First Edition. You're not going to see that near mint, mint, mint condition very often at all. That's beautiful. Earthbound Revival, Solitaire, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Once again with the cool wolf. That is an awesome picture. Ritual of Grace. Okay, so we got our ultimate rare. Earthbound Immortal, Kar Karahua. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep it up. Let's see if we can possibly get a secret rare. Ashalion. And Stack Neglect. Time passes a Jin Releaser of Rituals. Gemini Spark again. Nice. Swap Frog. There we go. Good first edition common there. Spider Egg and Woodland Archer. All right. Get some cool cards going here. Two packs left on the right side. Energy Bravery. Is that our first one of those? It's a 1700 Warrior. Gemini Monsters you Control cannot be targeted by effects. Second like oh uh, Stygian Dirge. This is actually the short print common, I believe, out of here. Reduce the level of all face up monsters your opponent controls by one, and it is a continuous. So it's actually pretty decent. I, I think this has a few dollar value to it. It's actually a pretty good card. Tuned Magician. Zero Gardener. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Very nice. Reptilian Spawn. Swap Frog again. Nice. I'll take those all day. I'm gonna leave one pack there to cover up there. All right, so we have five foils from one side. If we can get five foils from the other side, that'd be pretty incredible. Tuned Magician, Gemini Booster, Fortune Lady Water, nice seeing the Fortune Lady cards. I wish they still had ultimates of these, that'd be cool. Or ultimates of rares. Spider Egg, Swap Frog again, sweet. Let's keep it up. Energy Bravery, Insect Neglect, Stygian Dirge again, nice. And oh man, an ultra rare Earthbound Kahoo again. Wow, that's crazy to get him ultimate. Karahua. Karahua, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, to get him ultimate and ultra, that's pretty awesome. Jin Presider of Rituals, Gorgon, Earthbound Wave, that looks sweet. Negate the activation of a spell or trap if you control an earthbound and destroy it. Didn't even know that card existed. Earthbound deck. I actually have never played or played against an earthbound deck. Alright, so we got another ultra. Let's keep it up. Stygian Dirge again. Seriously, is it just not hard to pull? Toons Magician. Spider, Spider, Megaton, Core Panel. Nice. Use that for some lighting for some videos. Spiritual Forest. Attack of the Pheromone. Swap Frog again. Nice. Maybe Stygian Dirge is just a, just a good card. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. The Viper. Spider Spider. Releaser of Rituals again. Gosh. We need, there's so many different rares. Dark Spider. Iron Core Armor. Another Infernity Necromancer again. Between Gorgon. Here we go, guys. Heart of the cards. Regulus, Tuned Magician, Infernity Force. Nice! Fortune's for Future. I was going to say Fortune's Fortune. Fortune's Future. Select and remove from play one Fortune Lady Monster and return it to the grave. Oh, select when you remove from play Fortune Lady Monsters and return it to the grave. So, from the grave, from the remove pile to the grave, and then draw two. I don't know why that confused me so much. And, of course, a Fortune Lady with it. Fortune Lady Earth. Nice. 
Swap Frog, Kokimaru, Sea Panther. And so another super rare card. We're going to go ahead and sleeve her up. Fortune's future. Fortune doesn't favor fools. Earthbound wave again. Spiders. And nice and ultra rare Kokimaru Maximus. So we got the Max Warrior. And we got the Maximus. And my middle name is Max. So we're maxing out max power with this opening right now. That's funny that there's a Maximus and a Max Warrior in the set. Lord British. Tuned Magician. Spider. Spider. And that's Medusa. It's a big old Medusa. <laughs> Isn't Medusa supposed to be like pretty? I guess that's what they're trying to play against there. Alright, so. Three Ultras now. What does Maximus even do? I know he was decent. Um, cannot be normal summon or set. This card can only be special summoned by removing from play one Iron Core Kokimaru from your hand. During each of your end phases, destroy this card unless you send an Iron Core Kokimaru or one Kokimaru monster from your hand to the grave. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can select and destroy one card your opponent controls. Yeah, this card's one of the good ones. Maximus. Wow. Four supers, three ultras, and an ultimate. So... Already we have eight, so we have a good box. Just missing the secret. Here we go. I mean, I'll take another ultimate. Medusa again, Ashulian. And another ultra rare explosive magician. This is becoming an explosive box. Wow. Four ultras now. Uh, you can remove two spell cards on your side of the field to select and destroy one spell to trap your opponent controls. Explosive. Let's see if we can get a close-up on Explosive Magician. Looks pretty, pretty awesome. All right. Mother Spider, Spiritual Forest. Nice opening so far. Five Ultras you got, or four Ultras, four Supers. Getting down to the wire here, about six, six packs left. Can we get any Secret or Ultimate card? Here we go. Solitaire Magician, Regulus, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Inherited Fortune again, uh, Earthbound Wave, awesome card. Come on, you guys, believe in the heart of the cards. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. Slip Summon, haven't pulled too many of those. Ritual Buster, Necromancer, another Earth. We haven't gotten or Fortune Lady Dark or White. Is it white or yellow? I don't know. Oshleon, second get. Time Passage. Come on. Four packs. Regulus. For any force, quick draw. Lord British again. How much do we have? Like three or four of those? Dark Spider. Gemini Spark again. That's sweet. Gemini Counter. First one of those. Three packs left. I'm feeling it right here, guys. I got some power, some power flowing right now. Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. Feel the energy. Ritual Grace. Time Passage. Oh, Gemini Scorpion. Well, at least it's a new rare. Very nice. Gorgon. Ooh. Definitely can't complain, right? We pulled four Ultras, four Supers, and an Ultimate. Two packs left. Can we get that secret rare card? Here we go. Fernity Force. Viper. Lord Br Dude, come on, man. Lord British again? Jeez, two. That's four. Three. Four. Wow. The Simply Unlucky collection has been completed for Lord British Space Fighter. All right, you guys, the last pack of Destiny. Here we go. Stardust Overdrive, first edition. Synchro Barrier, Quick Draw, Shine Palace, Swap Frog. Man, loose packs. At least we got a booster box for it. All right, so four rares. We got Gemini Scorpion. Got a few Shine Palaces. I think we had two or three of each of the Shine 
palaces and inherited fortunes as well. Yeah, three inherited fortunes, a couple shine palaces, a um, couple fortune lake of water, got the uh, Rinya, that's a little cutie, a little cutie uh, light sworn to go with the twilight swords. All right, and then for our foil cards, got four supers, fortunes, futures, fortunes future, reptilian hydra, majestic dragon, max warrior, then our ultra rares, we got divine grace, north wemco, explosive magician, kokimera maximus, and then a earthbound immortal, karahua, and then ultimate rare, um, karahua again. That's awesome. So is that it's nine foil cards out of 24 loose packs. That's pretty sweet. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. As well as post in the comments below what you guys think about these first edition um, Stardust to Overdrive booster packs. And about the how Konami even printed uh, booster boxes that didn't come first edition. Only printed packs in the tens. First edition packs in the tens. What do you guys think about that? It's very interesting. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching and simply on Lucky signing out.